for some unknown reason it's cut back so it's pretty much useless so the downstairs one there's actually a crack above it so it's all out now I'll show you the tray the tray still right and we're walking multi-tool strikes again Right, good Wednesday afternoon. I started recording this one, then I stopped. I wasn't going to bother, but I changed my mind. I've only got 20 minutes left on the card, so um, it's another lintel job. I filmed the top lintel, all the demolition, but I didn't film rebuilding it. So this downstairs one, I've not filmed the demolition, but I'm like, oh, what I'll do is film the rebuilding and put the two together. So you see the two lintels done the same. Both the same, both have had opened up. They've come and put a, a lead flash in, not a lead flash in, a lead cavity tray in, rebuilt it all nice and neat, but no lintel. So they've gone to all the trouble of taking all the brickwork out, knocking it all down, putting a flashing in, not bothering with the lintel, and then rebuilding it. Which is what's the point for what 30 quid for a lintel? So the downstairs one, there's actually a crack above it, so it's all out now. I'll show you the tray. The tray's still in. I've cleaned all the bricks off, which is an absolute nightmare. I've had to use the grinder because this stuff's just rock hard. I think um, last week when we did the upstairs lintel, I think we finished at 6 o'clock. It was 11 hour day. It took so long to clean the bricks. But anyway, um, I've still got another one to do, but I've got to wait for James to take the scaffold down at the back to get at that. So I'll show you the lead and then I'll film putting the new tray in, sealing it all up and then rebuilding it all. It's it's just gone about 20 to 2 now. I've been sat in the van for over an hour because it's, it's it's been raining since I got here. It's forecast to stay dry but it's weird seeing rain all day like this but it's not too heavy so we can crack on. It's not affecting the wall. So I'll get back out there and probably time lapse the next few bits basically to save the card and then I'll just keep checking in as we go along. So we'll see you around, around the side. <laughs> Works out. You see the cracks travelled up. It's cracked a couple of bricks, so we'll be replacing them. We took four course out, wasn't no need really. But um, that's what I've been took out before. You see the lead cavity tray, decent enough, but at some some point, for some unknown reason, it's cut back. So it's pretty much useless. Another shocker of a job. So that's coming out. I've already chiseled out for that. Take that out. That's actually foam loop. Got me brew on the cup holder. that half I think. That one just come out anyway so
Okay, it's just gone three o'clock. So we've got them three in. That's only that half. So now obviously you take the line off and you slide these in. And you get those two patched in as well. These are different bricks, they're concrete, but I've cut them down to 65 mil. These last few going in, I'll put it on normal speed, show you how I do it. So I put the bed in, flatten off as much as I can, as close as I can to what I'm going to end up with. Try a couple of flicks. There you go. I'm going to fill the frog, but I don't put any extra on top. Because the minute you push it in like that, it just pushes off anyway. And we need room to get the top bed in. So, that's it. So that should just sit on that bed. And there's no furrowing in it, it's flat, so it's, the bed's solid. needs it. get that which I was told to get by my by the views a few years back now best thing well one of the best things I ever bought fills the joints up solid Frog.
to go then. Get that a bit. Even them joints up a bit. That's it, we're all in. Now to fill up. Push it in and to the side so you're actually compressing it against the against the solid bit and as you're working with you're compressing it all as long as you go 45 degree angle. Push it straight through, you're just gonna go straight through the cavity. We also, also push up on a 45 degree angle with the tuck joint as well and it's pushing the motor up because we've got frogs up there to fill. And we're done. Crack pointed, crack bricks point replaced, new lintel, new cavity tray, new heat vents, new brickwork. Ready for the new window, which we'll be doing getting done shortly. Traps are good, just needs a good brush, but it's quite wet at the moment so. That's been left till the very last thing. Ooh. So, jobs are good. Um, the same thing was done on that one, so. I filmed this one, I didn't film that. Didn't film this demolition, film the demolition on that, so I'll put the two videos together. So it's two different days. Obviously Alex was in the upstairs on that one. So now I wait till this gets taken down, till James comes and takes it away. That was a that was 200 that tower. Including the ladder for as long as we need it. In case people are wondering how much this kind of stuff is. Five planks, handrail, ladder, gate. Uh, yeah, 200. So, 
the next tower's going up in Lydia for another job we're doing. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll just time match the tidying up. And we're back for day three. Lintel number three. That one's done. done so this is the final one as you can see these bales come out quite easy there's another strange lead cavity tray I've lifted these ends up to get that covering but curled up and sealed so anything that comes down that tray basically sits in there Very weird because I think I've said already they've gone to the trouble of taking this brickwork out. You see the different colour. They've gone to the trouble of taking it out, putting a tray in, but not end up putting a lintel in. Which is very weird. I've never seen that before. So we're gonna make another mess in a minute. <coughs> Get all this out. And the usual, all the new stuff in. So we'll go to time lapse for the messy bit. Right, about 10 past 11. So all the grinding, all the mess is done. I've tidied a bit of it up. I say tidied up at the end. Mix is on. So all I need to do now is get this, this um, sorry excuse for a tray out. And um, get the new lintel tray in. So you can see where the existing tray was. Standard bitumen crap. Got a nice cable in the way again. It's going to be fun to get round. As you can see, this tray was pretty useless. It came down over the frame and then curled up onto the brickwork, which basically meant if anything came down, it was trapped on top. So let's get this thing out.
Corn used to stray. Right. And we're walking multi tool strikes again. So we've took the uh, got the tray out, got a nice nice depth ready for our tray to go in. If I'd used a grinder for that, it would have just blown all the insulation all over the place. But that thing, obviously no draft. A bit slower, but very good. So we're going in that gap there. So let's get that in now. That's all in. All tucked in, all sealed. Get these four courses in, have a quick dinner, and get it, get it finished. Back to time lock for a bit.